Hello friends, today we will learn about International Library Association. But before that, what is association? Association is nothing but a group of persons formally joined together for some common interest. There are different types of associations which works at different level like state level, national level and international level. But today we will learn about International Library Associations. These associations are working at global level. Some library associations are general or some are special library associations. Each association is having their own vision or aim. American Library Association is the oldest, largest and most influential library association in the world. The association represents all types of libraries. Its mission is to promote the highest quality library and information services and public access to information. The core value of the LA is extending and expanding library services in America and around the world and also gives the intellectual freedom. On June 28, 2015, ALA Council adopted a new strategic directions for the next 3 to 5 years. They focused on key areas and for the execution of that, they developed a strategic direction that are first is advocacy, second is information policy, third is professional and leadership development. Fourth is equity, diversity and inclusion and each have their goals and strategies. The key action areas are Now we will see the different groups and activities. First, the official purpose of the association is to promote library service and librarianship. ALA has incorporated specialized sections and divisions. ALA work is divided into 11 divisions, each with type of library or type of library function specialization. These divisions offer awards and scholarship, sponsorship institutes and conferences and maintain network of affiliated chapters and other collaborative relationships. Each division is represented on the ALA Council and in the Planning and Budgeting Assembly. A majority of ALA members belong to one or more division. Following are the many divisions of ALA, but we will see the AASL that is American Association of School Librarians. The American Association of School Librarians is the only national professional membership organization founded on school librarians and the school library community. Now we will see the offices. We will see some of the notable offices of ALA. First is Office for Intellectual Freedom. The goal of the office is to educate librarians and the general public about the nature and implement and importance of intellectual freedom in libraries. Next is Office for Accreditation. This office serves the profession and general public, students, employers and the library and information studies master program through the promotion and advancement of education in library and information studies. The Office for Accreditation manages the external review process that provides professional development opportunities for both academics and practitioners. Now we will see the ALA round tables. ALA round tables are membership group and may charge dues, develop program, issue publications and affiliated with regional state or local groups with the same interests. We will see the library research round table. The library research round table was founded in 1968 to contribute towards the extension and improvement of library research and to provide public program opportunities for describing and evaluating library research projects. The conferences 
ALA and its division hold numerous conferences throughout the year. The two largest conferences are the annual conference and the midwinter meeting. The latter is typically held in January and focused on internal business while the annual conference is typically held in June and is focused on exhibits and presentations. The annual conference is notable for being one of the largest professional conferences in existence, typically drawing over 25,000 attendants. ALA offices and divisions sponsor a variety of library promotions throughout the year that libraries of all types all across the country can get involved to promote libraries and create awareness of library issues. Now, the publication of ALA. ALA develops many resources for the library and information service communities. The ALA store features titles from ALA editions, the general publishing operation of the association, and ALA graphics. The unit specializing is promotional product supporting libraries literacy and reading as well as other products from around the association. Early store purchases fund advocacy, awareness and accreditation program for library professionals worldwide. Early activities are shaped and guided by a series of governing documents. The association's first official document was the Charter of 1879, which was revised in 1942. ALA Council is the governing body of ALA. The division publish journals, books, newsletters and other materials. Now the membership. You can join ALA as an individual or as organization. ALA membership is open to any person or organization. Most members live and work in the United States with international members comprising 3.5% of total membership. One of most valuable benefit as an ALA member is 10% discount of all purchase from the ALA online and conference stores along with ongoing notification of special offers and promotions. Members may join one or more of 11 membership divisions. Members may also join any 17 roundtables that are grouped around more specific interests and issues. The official purpose of association is to promote library service and librarianship. Now the awards. ALA awards program includes book, print and media awards, professional recognition with the library sciences and scholarship, fellowship and grants. Some of the former are annual book awards with great public visibility. ALA disseminates some annual list of notable and best book and other media. First is ABC's CO Online History Award. It recognizes a person or a group of people producing a freely available online historical collection or an online tool for the purpose of finding historical medical otherwise an online teaching and stimulating creative historical scholarship and the annual awards roasted includes the john cotton dana award for excellence in library public relations ala also gives grants for fellowship professional recognition awards and youth media awards
IFLA is the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions is the leading international body representing the interest of library and information services and their users. IFLA aims to promote high standard of provision and delivery of library and information services and encourage widespread understanding of the value of good library and information services. The mission of IFLA is to promote the library institution and library information services in the developing countries of Africa and also Caribbean. Most important work in NIFLA happens in the various groups that make the organization. NIFLA also conduct different activities to create awareness among users. First, we will see the division. There are division of NIFLA. Each division is consist of strategic programs, sections and special interest group. Each division have their own publication, events and news. These are the different sections of IFLA. First, we will see the bibliographic section. The section on bibliography is primarily concerned with content, management, production, dissemination, and preservation of bibliographic information. The second section is libraries for children and young adult section. Its main objective are to promote international cooperation in the field of library services to children and young adults. For more details on section, you can visit our Insula's website. Now, we will see the special interest group. These are the different special interest groups in IFLA, but we will see very few of them. First is Digital Scholarship Special Interest Group. The IFLA Knowledge Management section believes that there are diverse aspects, multidimensional and the interdisciplinary interest of digital scholarship. It also supports librarian information professionals' role in participating, supporting and facilitating digital humanities and digital scholarship. Third is Linked Data Special Interest Group. The Linked Data Special Interest Group is dedicated to gathering and disseminating information about the use of semantic web standards in libraries. More than 25 corporations working with IFLA under corporate supporter scheme and in return they get opportunities to present their products and services to worldwide membership. IFLA is closely partnered with UNESCO. IFLA is a part of International Committee of Blue Shields that is ICBS which works to protect the world's cultural heritage threatened by wars and natural disasters. WIPO, ISO, WTO, UNESCO, ICBS are some organizations that works with IFLA. These are the main topics of IFLA. First is copyright limitations and exception for libraries and archives. IFLA believes that international action is needed to ensure essential library and archives function considered to be preserved in copyright law. For that, this group no. Second is Libraries Development and UN 2013 Agenda. IFLA has been actively involved in creation of UN 2013 Agenda and advocating for the inclusion of access to information, ICT in the framework because in knowledge society, Access to online information. Third is cultural heritage. The preservation and restoration of cultural heritage has always been a priority for IFLA. For that, IFLA is working with UNESCO.
Fourth is in lending for libraries. The in that libraries have been providing access to digital content to their users for over two decades. Until recently, this content largely comprised access to aggregated databases of journals, newspapers. Fifth is IFLA and the Information Society. In that libraries have been at the heart of the Information Society since the very early days of the information and communication technology revolution. Now we will see the review groups. These are the two review groups of IFLA. First, we will see the FRBR review group. In 1997, the Standing Committee of IFLA section on cataloging approved the FRBR model. In 2002, the FRBR cataloging section found a working group on FRBR. In 2003, the working group was transferred into the FRBR review group. The FRBR review group provides ongoing support for the maintenance and development of the original FRBR conceptual model. In addition, members of the FRBR review group maintain relation with other relevant IFLA section, that is, bibliography, classification, and, and indexing, with Unima and the ISBD review group. Second is ISBD review group. ISBD Review Group is International Standard Bibliographic Description. The ISBD's main goal is sharing bibliographic information. The main objective of ISBD Review Group is to maintain the ISBD which intended to serve as a principal standard to promote universal bibliographic control and to make it available anywhere, anytime in form that is internationally acceptable. So first we will see the IFLA journal. IFLA journal is international journal publishing peer reviewed article on library and information services like social, political, economic issues and that impact on our day to day life. The journal publishes research case studies and essays. The journal is published quarterly from 1993 to till date. Next one is IFLA publication series. The frequency of this publication series is 2 to 3 titles per year. This publication series mostly include conference seminars, papers. IFLA series on bibliographic control is guideline for subject access in national bibliographics. The next one is IFLA's professional reports. This consists of reports of professional meetings and, and guidelines to best practice. IFLA also publishes annual report that, IFLA, that includes IFLA's achievements during the previous years. Also, we publish IFLA standards that includes wide range of standards in all fields of library and information services. For example, collection development policies. Now we will see the IFLA's membership. IFLA's membership is divided into three parts. First is individual membership, second is association membership, and third is institutional membership. IFLA offers you an international network to exchange ideas and promote international cooperation, research and development in all fields. IFLA depends on cooperation and active involvement of its member to reach its goal. You can extend and sustain your professional network at an international level. You can be active in one of the IFLA's working groups and help developing standards and guidelines.